Welcome to Yin Yoga Dissolve Tension, day 11 of the Empowered series. Let's uh, get started in butterfly pose by bringing the soles of the feet together. Draw the feet close in towards the body. Grab the feet with both of your hands. On the inhale, lift your chest up nice and tall. And then on the exhale, just begin to hinge over and down. If you want, you can grab some blocks, some pillows to go underneath your forehead. The great naturalist John Muir said, into the forest I go to lose my mind and find my soul. So let's see how deep we can go into the forest of this yin yoga dissolve tension practice. Nice and easily begin to transition yourself up and out, taking your time within the transitions, moving slow, slow like molasses. Cross one leg in front of the other, and then make your way back to tabletop pose, all fours position. Cat and cow, and inhale, drop the belly, pull the heart forward. Exhale, round the back. You can even do it with your eyes closed if you like. Staying deep in the forest. Inhale of practice. Exhale, round that back. Inhale once more. And exhale, round. Good, now from here, slide the hands forward a couple of inches, tuck the toes underneath the feet, and then lift the hips all the way up to the sky. Spread the feet out the width of the mat, bring the feet in a little bit closer than you, normal. So a nice soft downward facing dog as you press down into the palms. Feel that nice stretch through the spine, through the torso. We've seen animals, cats and dogs, after waking up from a nap, just spontaneously go into a stretch like this. Just feels so good and gets into so many different areas of the body. Keep the feet as is, crawl the hands back by those feet. Turn the toes out, flick the heels in, and then yoga squat. So we'll come all the way down you can always modify this pose by rolling up the back of your mat or sliding something to elevate the heels up if your mobility is limited in this position. You can even sit on a block or a prop. Both hands to prayer position in front of the chest as we come into the yoga. 
yoga squat position to dissolve tension into so many different areas of the lower body, the ankles, the knees, the hips, the inner thighs. And after our power yoga practices where we have been working strong, especially the last couple of classes, they've been intense, they've been fiery, really make the, the most out of this downtime. It's all about balance. And that old Zen proverb that says, only when you can be extremely pliable and soft, can you be extremely hard and strong. So our yin yoga practice supports our power yoga practice and vice versa. It's that balance of the strength and the flexibility, the movement and the stillness, the masculine and the feminine, the yang and the yin. Nice, go ahead and release the hands down to the ground, fold over and down, straightening the legs. Crawl the hands forward back to the top of the mat, back to a down dog, take one breath there, stretch back. Release the knees down onto the mat, crawl the knees forward about halfway up your yoga mat and then turn over to face the left side of your mat as you open the knees out as wide as they'll go setting up for frog pose so knees nice and wide open the feet out a little bit wider than the knees and then start to come down onto your elbows your forearms here and then you may investigate a little bit by going forward and backward until you reveal the tightest place in the inner thighs and the groin, which is what frog pose is so famously known for getting into. There was a famous stone carver in India who would create these life-size stone sculptures of elephants. And they were so real that you would do a double take thinking that you were about to get stampeded by an elephant. And when they asked this, this artist, how do you create such lifelike detailed representations of the elephant? His reply was very Zen in nature. He would say, I simply remove everything that's not the elephant. For 30 days, you get onto your yoga mat and you remove everything that's not in alignment with who you wanna be, who you wanna become, and the best version of you. You chisel it away, carve it away so that by the end of this on day 30 all that's left is you as the masterpiece that you are
Last few breaths there. Nice, you guys. Go ahead and ease your way all the way back up onto your hands. Sometimes it's a little intense coming out of it. Oh, bring those knees back together, side by side, turning forward to face the top of the mat. Sit back onto your heels into kneeling or sit back onto a prop. And we'll do a little bit of breathing together, what we call Veloma number two, where we pause the breath in the middle of the exhale. Sit up tall, take a big inhale through the nose, and then out the mouth, exhale, let it go. And then we'll begin, inhale through the nose for one, two, three, four. Exhale out the nose for four, three, pause the breath. And then exhale, continuing to release all the air out for two, and one. Three more rounds. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three. Pause the breath. And then exhale all the way out for two and one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale out for four three, pause, exhale all the way for two, and one, last round, inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale, release for four, three, pause, and exhale all the way for two, and one. Take a deep inhale through the nose, fill the lungs up with breath. And then out the mouth, exhale, side out. Feeling the echo of what you just did. In yoga, this is called Purina Mavada. Beautiful, now we'll come in two. Sleeping swan pose, so bring the right leg forward, left leg long behind you. Draw the weight back. If you want, you can always put support to go underneath your right hip. And then just begin to drape your torso out over that front right leg, coming into sleeping swan.
as you guys slowly ease your way all the way back up. Shift your weight over into that right hip and swing your left leg forward all the way towards the top of your yoga mat. Take your right foot and bend it back by the outside of your right hip. This is enough. Stay where you are. You can always put support underneath your left hip here. If you want more, you can lean back onto your hands. See how that feels. If you'd like more, you can come back onto your forearms. You could place a bolster, some pillows behind your back, or you could come all the way down onto your back. Just leaning back to your own degree, dissolving tension in your right knee, your right thigh, the top of that right foot. Taking a couple of minutes here to let that yin medicine do what it knows how to do. Sliding onto your back, go ahead and start the process of slowly transitioning all the way back up. Lean over into that left hip there. Extend that right leg straight out in front of you, letting the blood have a few moments to rush down. Maybe just moving the feet side to side here. Sleeping swan on the other side, so left leg, top of the mat, right leg swings around behind you. And as you're ready, just begin to drape like a heavy velvet blanket out over that front left leg. Allowing gravity, time, do its thing as you yield to the innate force that exists inside of you that knows how to bring you back to balance, homeostasis, health, and wholeness.
Good. Go ahead and ease your way back up. Lean into that left hip. Swing that right leg forward to the front. And then bend your left foot back by the outside of your left hip. Find the variation that feels right for you in reclining half saddle pose. Recliding back, slowly come all the way back up. Lean a little bit over to the right, extend that left leg straight out in front of you. And then come onto your back one last time for Shavasana. Final resting corpse pose. Continuing to go deeper and deeper into the forest of this practice.
Take a deeper inhale through the nose. Out the mouth, exhale, let it go. Bring your knees and your thighs into the belly of the chest. Gently rock your way up to a last seat. Both hands to prayer position in front of your chest, your heart. May you live with a healthy body and mind. May you awaken the power that exists inside. And may you live life with wisdom, purpose, and meaning. Stay empowered. Namaste. All right, you guys, that's it for this one. Have a beautiful rest of your day, and I'll see you tomorrow.